Hey everybody, this is Jordan with Flying Dollar Motorsports, here with another money-saving tip for second-generation Nissan Xterra owners. Today we're talking about your air conditioning filter, otherwise known as your in-cabin air filter. This is one of the biggest things that the dealership will go and take your money on. I've seen these things listed for service for $80 to $100. And I looked it up recently on one of those mobile come-to-you mechanics websites that have grown so popular here because of the pandemic. Uh, and they're charging over $100 for this. And I can tell you that you can get this air filter on Amazon for like $10. Now, I went and sprung for the really expensive one because my wife is kind of sensitive to, well, everything. So this one is HEPA filtered, and I spent the big money. I spent $21 on this. So if you're going into this dealership and you're going to pay $80 or something like this, please watch this video. It'll take you about five minutes, and I think you'll be surprised at how easy it is and how ridiculous it is that they're charging you that much money. Okay, here we are in the passenger side footwell of your second generation Nissan Xterra Frontier or Pathfinder. It'll all work, but you're gonna, first thing you're gonna do is open up your glove box, make sure you take everything out. You're gonna pinch in the sides here and here. And I'll show you, you gotta pinch pretty hard on mine at least. There's these uh, kind of, I guess you call them nipples, right here that just hold in. You just pinch those in enough to where you can slide it down and it'll hang upside down. I'll see if I can light it up in here for you. But if you look just back here, There is a little box right here, a little cylinder. And at the top, it should be uh, secured by a screw. Mine is secured by a zip tie because I broke it so many times. Um, in El Paso, I was changing this thing every six months to a year because one, it's cheap and easy, and two, it's a really dusty area. So if you're wheeling out there and somewhere like the Southwest and you got a lot of dirt and dust, that's definitely something you might have to do a lot. Um, the recommended service interval for these is like 30 seconds, or excuse me, 30,000 miles. Um, 15,000 if you've got high allergy problems or if you're really dusty. I did it a lot more than that just because it was so cheap. But the first thing you're going to do is reach up on the top there and undo that screw. In my case, a zip tie. Okay, well I finally got my zip tie cut, that was a little awkward, but you just fold, flip it down from the top, hopefully you can see that, and you just slide it out. That's what your cover looks like. Okay. And as you can see in there, let's see if I can get this a little closer for you guys. You kind of see right back here this white thing, that's your filter. I think there's two of them. careful when you pull these out because you don't want to spray dirt and dust everywhere. Oh, look at that. So, we'll just dump this out here for you. That was in there. I don't remember the last time these were changed, but it's been a little while, but clearly pretty dirty. Okay. I'll get the other one out. Also, pretty dirty. Mm, of course, the wind's now blowing right into my face. Well, look at that. That's what, good, that's what gets into your air conditioning filter. Okay. That's why I would personally recommend doing these way more than every 30,000 miles. Unless you live somewhere like Florida where there's no dust. I don't know. But then, it's as simple as reversing the process to put them back in. So I bought, like I said, I bought these Bosch HEPA filter ones. Now your airflow, they're all, every one I've ever bought has been marked airflow and tell you which way to go. So you want to put the air comes down from the top towards the bottom, towards the vents. So I just slide these back in. Okay. 
Make sure you the first one, you gotta push it all the way over to the right. Second one again, making sure your airflow is correct. Put that back. And you take your lid, your cover, back on. Remember these, these little lips in here? You'll see the holes down at the bottom. And they just slide on there. And then you re-secure your screw at the top. For my case, it's going to be a zip tie. And you close up your... Just like that. Pretty simple. I mean, I think that probably took me about three minutes. This is the Bosch part number, 6014C, as in Charlie. If you want to go ahead and get this one, like I said, it's about $21, I think, on Amazon. Super easy to do. Uh, so if you're still not confident that you can do this, at least if you're in the Colorado Springs area, bring your car to me and I'll do it for like a pepperoni pizza. I'm not going to charge you $80. Um, hopefully, otherwise, you can jump on this and start saving yourself a couple dollars. Take those 50 bucks you save, maybe put it towards some modifications, you know, a lift kit or some big tires. Have a good one, guys.